Hey there guys, what's up? It is Aaron here with another awesome Apple video. Today I'm going to be showing you iOS version 5, the latest version from uh, Apple that is going to be coming out fairly soon. It's uh, right now in beta only for Apple iPhone developers. Uh, but anyway, it will be for the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, both CDMA and GSM. Uh, it will be for the iPad 1, the iPad 2, the iPod, 3rd generation and 4th generation, I believe that's it. Um, just like the iPhone 3G, a lot of the features from iOS 5, well, the cool features anyway, won't work with the iPhone 3GS because it's kind of outdated now. I know, I think it's still a great phone, but still. Uh, so anyway, let's get started with the review, well, a quick overview of uh, iOS version 5 on my iPod Touch 4th generation. So let's check that out. So, as you can see, there's not really too much difference to the lock screen. Uh, when you actually do have an iPhone, I believe it may only be in the iPhone, or they just haven't added it to the iOS beta, there's actually a way that you can uh, just click right there and take a picture, which is really nice. There is a notifications, usually, if you have notifications, there's actually a way you can just slide and look at those notifications. It actually takes you to the application, and uh, you can read them. So, let's just unlock here. Uh, I guess I'll talk about the first major thing that's really cool in iOS 5 beta, the notifications. As you can see here, I don't have any notifications. I actually just cleared them because it was showing my email. So when you actually do get an email, it does show up here. You get a uh, reply from Twitter, or if you get a notification on Facebook, they actually just show up here. And you can just uh, tap on them, and it takes the application. You can read the notification. It's really actually cool, very smart. It is a little bit of a ripoff of Android. Don't hate me, people. But anyway, uh, it is really cool. I think they did a very nice job at that. As you can see, it does show the weather. No, that is not where I'm located. Wow, it's 61 there. Pretty cold. Um, it's actually like 80 here. Anyway, it does show the stocks, weather, that stuff. Notifications, they actually show up in groups. It shows Facebook, email. And I'll actually put pictures in here showing you all the notification stuff because I don't have any right now. So as you can see, there's not really too much difference. It doesn't have too many different applications. All the standard basic FaceTime, calendar, all that stuff. Now there is a new application called Reminders, which is really nice. Um, so you can just add a reminder and I've already added one here so if you actually tap on it you can actually show uh, if you see remind me you tap on that it actually lets you choose at a location so basically if you leave a location or go to a location it'll actually alert you letting you know it'll actually pop up when you either leave or go to that uh, location which is really cool um, so if you need to oh I'm leaving work I need to pick up milk it will pop up and tell you buy milk so that's pretty cool Something really small that I think made a big difference for the uh, iOS is actually one of their smaller updates. I already said that, but still. As you can see, the radio buttons are actually uh, rounder now. So that's kind of cool. It, it actually, it's just like a circle, and it just moves. But it, I think it's a pretty cool update. Let's see, iCloud, a huge update was iCloud. Uh, as you can see, it actually syncs your mail, contacts, all this stuff. There's this feature now called Find My iPod. Basically, you can go on the MobileMe website, and it'll actually pinpoint the location of your iPod. You can lock the screen with a passcode. You can make it display a message, which is really cool. So all this stuff is actually backed up on your iCloud account. So you can actually just go and get that from your computer. It's actually, they actually have a Mac application, and I believe they also have one for Windows. Uh, let's see, Twitter. Twitter is highly integrated into iOS 5. I'll actually show you that in a minute. And let's see here. I will show you. I am, of course, running iOS 5. Where is it? Oh, there it is. iOS 5. Yeah, cool. So that's the beta version right now. Uh, do, 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 do. iTunes Sync. Of course, iTunes does sync just like normal. I believe now when you actually sync it, though, you can actually still use the iPod, a feature that's been waiting to happen forever. It's really cool. You can actually sync and no more having to wait for that. Uh, I, um, iMessages. iMessages is basically Apple's version of 
the BlackBerry Messenger. I really haven't had too much uh, experience with this because I don't. I only know one other person with iOS Beta 5, and uh, I haven't added them yet. Um, so I'll have to actually do that and try it out and let you know what I think. But as you can see, you can actually add videos, pictures, so it's really cool. Uh, and you can also send that over Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So I'll probably make a video using that after I add that person. So of course we have email, standard from all iOS versions, you've always had email. The Twitter application actually is not installed by default, you actually do have to install it manually, but it still is in integrated even if you don't install it. As you already know, it already uh, iOS 5 has already been jailbroken, and uh, it currently is a tethered jailbreak. Uh, but it is really cool that they've jailbroken it already. So let's see here. Um, ba -ba -ba. So, oh, newsstand. You can also go to the App Store and buy subscriptions to magazines or uh, not magazines, newspapers, and they actually show up here. It's kind of cool. Not something I think I will be doing since I can get the news by going to their website. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So actually, let's take a look at the camera now. So as you, as you, I'm sure you've already heard, you can now take pictures by just tapping the button at the top. So to take the picture. Uh, of course, there's an option. It shows the you can actually have it show the grid, which is kind of nice, I guess. Uh, I really wouldn't use it. I just have it on for laughs. Anyway, so you can see the picture. There's actually no way to edit it right now. Uh, I thought they actually would have a way that you could edit it because they did show that in the keynote, but I guess that's only um, in the final version. Maybe it hasn't been added to the um, the beta version yet. So anyway, uh, like I was saying, you can actually tweet stuff right from applications, which is really nice. It'll just come up here and say you can write it. There's the application. It actually looks very nice. Uh, the interface for the tweeting from applications, and you can see it's still in the background, which is really awesome. And as you can see, the picture's right there attached. It actually, like I'm saying, it really looks awesome. So you can just tweet this, blah, and it would show up on my Twitter account. Um, but I'm not going to... And you can see there's kind of a little bug right there. Everything's overlapping, and it hasn't switched yet. But that is why it's beta. I don't think I've talked about, I don't have I, I think I have talked, yes I have, I've talked about that. So, uh, let's see here. From what I've heard, the FaceTime quality is actually a lot better than the previous versions. So that's a lot better because it was kind of grainy in older, in the uh, for iOS 4. So those really are the main features of the iOS 5. Uh, the biggest features being the notification bar and the notifications on the home screen and the messages. One thing that I didn't tell you about the notifications like I'm sure you've seen at the Apple Keynote was when you do get a notification if you're in another application it actually rolls up to the top so you can actually read it while you're in the application which is very very nice. Something that I didn't tell you when you first install iOS 5 it actually takes you through a tutorial where you can actually set it up uh, you actually don't need to be connected. No PC, yes, no PC. So that's really cool. It actually does it without a PC or PC, Mac, whatever. They're all PCs. Anyway, it, uh, it actually lets you set it up without being on a computer. It takes you through the tutorial. You can set up Wi-Fi. It's really, really cool. I was going to make a video showing you that, but uh, I haven't yet. If you do want to see the tutorial, just let me know. I'll format my iPad pad or iPod and I'll show you that tutorial. Another small cool thing is the boot icon when you're loading your iPhone, iPad, iPod. It actually is animated now. The uh, It actually looks really cool. I haven't um, recorded that yet but I will try to put that up in the video with the tutorial. But anyway that is pretty much all I have to talk about today. There's uh, Those are the main features that have been added in um, iOS 5. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more iOS goodiness. Um, and I'm going to go outside now because it's really beautiful. And uh, I have off today, which is awesome. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching like always. And uh, goodbye.